What's up, my pilots? Look at how pretty our quest log entry looks now. Full on Triforce. Cool beans. In this episode, we are headed down to Hyrule. I'm pretty sure I already have everything I'm going to need. I've got Granny's soup, and I've got two fairies, but just to be absolutely sure, I'm going to go... Oh, hang on. First things first. Let me check my spoils bag here. We don't have any Bokobama nuts. Interesting. Um, but you know what we, we do have? We have green shoe and we have red shoe. We actually have blue shoe. I, I, should, I should show you the blue shoe stuff before we... <laughs> go crazy here, so... Let's head to Windfall Island. Do the very last thing there that we haven't done yet. It's gonna be good. I, I don't... I think I neglected showing this the entire game just because... I, I, we didn't need it. It's one of those optional things, and it just never really, uh made itself useful to us. We had plenty of fairies, and then we had Granny's soup when we had to do the labyrinth and things, so... But the potion shop never really, uh... Never really came into its season, I suppose you could say. It wasn't, uh... It was never the easiest way to get what we wanted, so... We left it alone. Ne neglected here. First door on the right on Windfall Island. And inside. We find a mysterious potion master. Hey, hello, hello, hello. You're standing in one of the only two jelly juice shop. You must have heard our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible. Why? What's chew jelly? Yeah, we know. We know what chew jelly is. Yeah, it's a key ingredient in potions. Bring me an empty bottle, which begs the question. Do you have an empty bottle? We sure do. We drank a blue potion while we were in the Tower's Labyrinth. Here's an empty bottle. Hmm, what might that be? That's no potion ingredient. It's an empty bottle. You just asked for it. Ass. All right, take my blue jelly. Gasp! Is that? Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Hmm. Oh ho! Ah! This is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. What a fascinating jelly development! I've never seen one of these. One of this particular hue on. Paw print... what? Ah, on Paw Print Isle, a small atoll famous for its robust chew population. The fish there actually mentions that this guy visits occasionally. But I digress, and the game is afoot! For when it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I've been shown... I've been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! For a second there, I thought we were all square, but now it seems quite clear that you don't have enough! I'm sorry, but could you bring these to me in groups of, say, about 15? You see, I can't make any potion without a specific minimum. Oh, You don't... I need 15? I thought it was 10. I thought it was 10, man! Alright, well, we're not gonna bugger around on the Great Sea until we get 10 more, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, fine. Alright, Potion Master. I assume he needs 15 of any other variety. Just another assumption for us there. Uh, may not be the case. It only takes four, if I remember correctly, Boko Baba Seeds to get a blue potion in the Forest Haven, so... I'm gonna swing by there and pick one up. I'll get the Boko Baba Seeds from the plants just outside the Forest Haven, and I'll run inside to get a potion, and I'll meet you guys at the Tower of the Gods. It's time, my friends. We are headed down into the depth of, of Hyrule. I have here, of course, you can see my uh, blue potion, and more importantly, we have the Triforce of Curage. <laughs> Just kidding. Yep, we are headed down. Let's do it. Where's the ring? Ooh. Hello, Mystic Law and Water Ring. Well done, Poncho. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. They can't see it in my pocket? I have to, like... Okay, whatever. Here it is! Look, I made a Triforce.
Alright, that's pretty cool. He's like, oh, where'd he go? Oh, shit. They gave me a tattoo. Oh? What is this? There on your hand. The Triforce piece now dwells within you. It is the Triforce of Courage. Proof that you are indeed the true hero of wind. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely, from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. Poncho! Hero of Winds! Go forth. To Hyrule, to Zelda's side! Huzzah! Huzzah! Ugh, that was pretty cool. You see, I didn't expect it to be that epic, and so I drummed it up with the Hero of Winds at the beginning, and they actually threw it in at the end, and I was like, Whoa! King of Red Lions, you're actually being cool. They actually... They, you've actually put dialogue, dialogue in the game that I am enjoying reading. It's, it's, a, it's just a friggin' miracle. It's great. It's great! Alright. Show me the broom... Prin, <laughs> the broom prin, show me the princess in that broom closet. I tried to say princess and broom closet at the same time. No, no, no. Go down there. I mean, <laughs> surely the statue that we left in place is nice and... S oh, wait a minute, it wasn't secure. Crap! Oh, wait, it looks like she's just standing right over there. That's her, right? Or is that... Yeah. Hey! How's it going, Zelda? I got this thing on my face. It's gonna make all these cutscenes weird. What? She got warped out like she finished a temple or something. What is this? You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda, and here you shall fall into the eternal slumber. What? Enter the mighty Dark Nuts. Helmeted, shielded, and caped. They are the toughest Dark Nuts in the game. The strategy is the same, except with a bit more patience. So the first thing you have to, I want to I want to mention here is that I actually have changed my uh, combat style to from the, the L targeting. Oh, I knew I was going to run into that flame if I kept hitting him. I changed the L targeting from uh, switch to hold, which is I discovered that that was the issue that I was having with all those battles where I couldn't lock onto the people I wanted to. Oh, he just finished off his buddy. It was because I was trying to manipulate it as though it was on hold and it was on switch. So I switched it to switch. You see how he's got the cape on his back? That gives you one... What are you doing, dude? I had to strike him one additional time to get the uh, armor off of him from his back. Come on. Let's finish this. It's a very clangy sword. Are, are the flames gonna go? Okay, good. <laughs> well, what do we do now, man? He took the princess! Who would have guessed that Ganon would kidnap the princess? I really think someone would have seen this coming. I mean, shouldn't the King of Red Lions have been like, hmm, you know, about this point in the game, if Ganon hasn't kidnapped the princess yet, <laughs> something's up, man. Alrighty. I guess I better get back out to my boot. Boot! Boot! Ooh, a barrier has been removed. Yeah, they're trying to show you where to go. The boat's actually on the other side, but I think that we can make our own decisions from now on. We're informed, right? We'll just leave the boat out there. Um, we're not even going to tell him where he's going. We're, we're, let's not even tell him where we're going. So this is Hyrule! So here's the great bridge that you cross in Twilight Princess many times. There's a mountain. Um, <laughs> you can climb that. There's an identical mountain over there. And another mountain over there that's a little bit closer than the other two, but looks just like it. So yeah, those are the three twin mountains of... Ow! There's some sort of barrier here. I'm not going to turn into a wolf if I go through this, am I? Nope. Do with a sword. Kabam! I guess he took off the hero's charm for that cutscene. That was appropriate, so he could see his facial expressions. And the barrier around the castle is removed. Or... 
yeah, removed. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess first we turned it into stained glass, and then we removed it. So yeah, now it's all uh, bright and sunny down here un under water. I don't know. How much detail did they put into this over here? Like, can I see... I mean, Castle Hyrule isn't typically over a lake in canon, is it? I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to find familiar mountains. Anyway, I see a black castle over there. Ten bucks says the hero, <laughs> the villain lives there. Yeah, you got some, you got some pea hats on this route. So just throw out your boomerang. No worries. Oops. Hello. Come here, you. Really, you don't even have to kill them. They're sort of just chilling out here. They're not really doing anything to you, are they? Either way, to defeat them or no, we have to pro make some progress here up to the top of the hill. I'm not going to pick up a chew jelly. I mean, what good is it now? This is it. This is the point of no return. Or actually, we're not to the point of no return yet. Honestly, I think there's another point of re return later on, but if you take that point of return, it seems really lame in, this, in the plot of, this, of the story. Oh, almost got me there. Tried to come, for, come up for that sweep attack with his, uh, bring his wrist up. Not gonna, not gonna catch me off guard. Oh, I got my boomerang at the ready. Don't miss those rupees, they'll be valuable someday. Where are you, buddy? How do you like this? Or this? There he goes again. Trying to catch me off guard with that shit. Not gonna work, man. Ow. Apparently he can... Hit me right out of the air like a, he's hitting a baseball with a bat. I believe that long-handled weapon that they carry actually does double damage compared to the Master Sword, uh, which of course does double damage compared to the Hero's Sword, so it's four times as good as the sword you start with. Which is why fighting Moblins is kind of dangerous the first time you do it, because you have a crap sword compared to them. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't notice me. Oh! Parry a little bit late there. Cut that armor off. So if you're fighting against a Dark Nut whose chest plate you've removed, you want to try and do thrust attacks, because you'll strike low enough to not hit him on the helmet. And if you... Oh. I guess that works. <laughs> it's not what I usually do to those guys. That's how I win Soul Calibur with Link. Ring out! <laughs> All day, every day. Sorry, bats. I'm not here to play your game. Keys, I should say. They have names, man! Oh man, the bat's following me into the cave. I should have used some repels. 